I want to share with you this in a simple format. The righteousness that God expects before Jesus comes again is not the righteousness of people who are suddenly going to be holy, wearing suits every day and singing holy, holy as they go to work. That is not righteousness. Before the Son of Man comes, he wants to see Christians who will live their lives for the benefit of their enemies. That is the true righteousness of God. Not for you to walk around preaching Jesus is coming, Jesus is coming, and you don't want people to touch you because you are trying to be holy. That's not righteousness, that's being a legalist. But what Jesus is expecting in the last days is righteousness. People think the righteousness God expects in the last days is for us to suddenly know the meaning to all prophecies. That is not righteousness. You will burn in hell with all your knowledge of those prophecies. What God is looking for in the last days are people who, while they study the prophecies, they look forward to Christ living inside of them, practicing what Christ practiced while he was still here on earth. This is the message of Jeremiah 29. Stop being righteous in your own sight. Go out there and do good for your enemies just as Jesus did good for his enemies you want to know what is righteousness before God it is for you to not eat that day because you gave your lunch to a poor man that's righteousness you are busy fasting telling us Daniel fast this fast all of those fasts are not even in the Bible it's inventions of people who want to look smart there's no such a thing as a Daniel fast he ate that wasn't fasting, he ate. He just ate veggies. Busy telling us in a Daniel fast. What Daniel fast? Where is it in the Bible where you are told it's a fast? That's not righteousness. Go to the book of Isaiah. God tells you, this is a true fast. Then you give your food to the poor. That is a real fast. To just sit at home, kneeling, praying, oh God, oh God. You haven't fasted. God is looking at you saying, you hypocrite. You come to me starving, thinking you're starving, impresses me. I don't need you to be hungry to hear your prayers. If you want to impress me, take your food. Go to the robot. Give to that man. That is fasting. That is a fast. You know this kind of fasting you guys do today? Where you fast for seven days so that God hears your prayers. It's not in the, in the Bible when you fast, you deny yourself good in order to give it to the poor. You don't just sit and not eat. You exchange. You withdraw goodness from yourself and give it to somebody who can't afford to thank you back. That is how God wants us to fast. In the last days, God is not looking for people who know how to keep the law. He's looking for people who know how to walk in his character. Because his character is the law and grace and everything combined. That's what God is looking for. So the next time you tell us you are fasting, listen to me. When you fast for seven days and not eat and God answers you, he didn't answer because you were starving. God has been answering people in full stomachs. He doesn't need... look. By the way, if you fast for God to hear you, think about it, you are insulting him. You are saying he's a God who's so cruel, he only answers when we are in pain. What kind of a cruel God is that who needs me to be hungry in order to take care of me? God has never asked for this immoral fasting, this self-righteousness fasting. God has called for true fasting where the soul neglects its goodness for others. So I wake up in the morning, I make my expensive sandwiches, not for myself. Then I get to the robot, I see that man and I say, I'm fasting. Here, eat. Because true righteousness finds Jesus in all who cannot do anything for themselves. You look at an orphan and you see Jesus in the face of an orphan. So you're not just feeding the orphan, you are feeding Jesus. That's why he says, when I come, I will separate the goat and the sheep. And I will say to you, the sheep, when I was in hospital, you visited me. When I was in prison, and they will ask, when did we do it? And he will say, that guy at the robot that you fed, that was me.